It's that time of the year again, the time where we consider what are big goals and new fresh vision we may have for a brand new year, and in our case, a brand new decade. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three ways you can actually stay committed to the goals that you have for yourself, not just in the month of New Year resolutions in January, but for the rest of the year. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Hey, I'm Lydia Lee, the reinvention strategist at Screw the Cubicle. And my big passion is to help people just like you to create and grow an independent career in business so that you can build the life that you truly want. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell button to be the first to know whenever I release my weekly videos right here on the channel and on my blog. Every video usually comes with an amazing resource and this week is no different. I will be hosting an absolutely free uh, goal setting and vision mapping webinar. You'll be able to get the link underneath this video or one of the cards that will be appearing above my head so that you can register for free. That's going to be happening in a couple days. And if you're listening to this or watching this, even after this video and webinar has gone live, you can still be able to register to get the replay. We're talking all about goals in this month of January, but not just about how to create goals, but actually how to stick to your goals and make sure that it lasts you through past January. You know, January is the month that we um, have big intentions and big visions for our life, but things start to kind of tither down, doesn't it? <laughs> when life gets busy uh, in the upcoming months for the rest of the year. So this video is really to get you started on the right practices and the three ways that I have really made agreements with, with myself every single year in order to achieve some of the goals that I set out for myself. Now on the webinar, if you join me, I'll be digging into not just how to create the right goals for the life that you want, but really building the habits and practices that will ensure uh, that you are accountable to them and you're making sure that you make room in your life for the new vision that you have. So uh, the first piece I want to talk about is about habits. I've mentioned this before in past videos, how important habits are in terms of achieving our successes, uh, where you can think about all the different strategies and plans you've got for your goals. But if you don't have the right habits that will actually help you uh, to cultivate the commitment that you really require, right, in order to go after your goals and keep um, having space and time for those goals, you're never going to really truly achieve them. So staying committed means staying consistent. So whether your goals may be to grow your business by being on a YouTube channel, like what I'm doing this year is to stay committed to one platform really, really well. And in order for me to do that, and if that's one of your goals for this year, is not to do 101 things, right? Because if you say that your goal is to grow your audience or grow your brand or grow your expertise and credibility on a channel that requires you to learn and invest energy and time into, that means that you would have to actually release some space and have time in your schedule in order to work on this, right? In order to produce videos, produce the content that you're passionate to share. And habits are not just saying that, okay, I'm going to produce four videos a month, right? That's a great goal. But the habits to support that goal means what to you? It could mean that you might need to actually start to create a consistent day and time every single week to shoot those videos. Or if you're like me, someone that works really well in themes and in bulks of time, I hate doing things kind of you know, repeatedly every single week. I know that I'm better off if I block off two hours for the month and film all my videos all at once. And that's going to give me a much better chance, right, of staying consistent to producing videos for you guys. And it's going to make sure that my time is reserved appropriately for what needs to happen to grow that goal. So when you think about your goals for this year, whatever they may be, what are some of the habits and daily practices that you have to actually set up as a system or as a reminder for yourself so that you can actually get the thing done? Maybe it's waking up half an hour earlier every single day to work on your business. Maybe if one of your goals is to build a better relationship with your husband or wife is actually having certain time blocks in a week to actually sit without devices and sit without any distractions in order to be really present to the conversations and meaningful conversations that you really want to have with your spouse. So as you can see, having great habits is going to be 
what can help you to stay consistent and keep your eyes on the prize of what is necessary uh, for you to do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis in order to actually achieve the big goal in due time. The second tip to stick to your goals and stay committed to your intentions for your goals this year is to create spaciousness for new goals by committing to the value of what I call an exchange. Now, a lot of people call it sacrifice where they'll say, well, if you want that goal, you need to sacrifice something to get it. And to me, I don't really see things like that as a sacrifice. Sacrifice to me means you're giving up something you actually want, right? In order to have something you don't want. <laughs> and that's not what we're talking about here. If you've got some big goals and big visions for your life in 2020, very likely those goals are really important to you. And if you don't know why they're important to you, this is the time. <laughs> this is your tip of the day to kind of sit aside some time and really figure out why these goals are important to you, why it's purposeful for you to pursue them, and then that way there's a bigger driving motivation for them, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit after this as well. Now, what do I mean by spaciousness? Um, well, spaciousness is necessary for our busy lives these days because not only are our on offline um, life really busy, right? Going to work, uh, d working with our friends and family, right? Having relationships with people, having hobbies and extracurricular activities, more and more our days are kind of back-to-back -back scheduling, which is causing us a lot of anxiety and stress to kind of keep up with everything going on in our lives. So we need to take into account this consideration that we need to find time and make time consciously in our schedule for things that are super important to us. So the exchange that um, I'm mentioning today is really the things that you really want to do that can really change your life this year, right? That can really help you to become the person that you really want to become this year. And that deserves space in your calendar, in your day-to-day, -day, and your time. So as I mentioned, an exchange is something you actually really want to do. So you're exchanging something that maybe isn't as important to you these days. Maybe you have fun doing it, but you want to exchange that block of time or that block of whatever you may be present for into the new exchange of new tasks, new actions, uh, new ways, right, to be able to uh, progress towards the vision and the goals that you have with your life. So spaciousness uh, might mean that instead of doing the back-to-back -back scheduling that you're usually used to, right, that makes you probably feel productive but leaves you feeling depleted at the end of the day, it's actually time to really take on a minimalistic approach to life and sort of go, how can I actually create time and pauses in my day-to-day -day life so nothing feels like I'm just rushing through things? Now, as we talked about habits in the last part of this video, Habits take time to form, right? It takes about 60 days or more, sometimes up to 90 days, especially if it's something you need to learn for the first time. That requires a lot of presence, right? And your conscious presence to be available for the tasks at hand that you feel that are important to you. So don't block off things that will only take you an hour to do when you know that when you're learning a new thing could probably take two to three hours. It's okay to give yourself that spaciousness, spaciousness. But in order to create that, you will figure out an exchange or you'll need to figure out what you are willing to exchange in order to have more time and have more presence to the things that are really important to you. So take a look at your schedule at the moment. If you've got kids, obviously that is priority and that will not change, but there could be ways to really simplify, right? The way that you spend time with them. Uh, maybe there are, there are negotiations that might have to happen with you and your spouse or parents or relatives that can support you in taking care of children uh, while you are working on something for yourself. Or it might mean that, you know, some of the extracurricular activities or the endless hobbies that you are, are, you know, hoping to do this year may need to take a little pause in order to focus on something that's important to you. And know that everything you exchange will change as you start to get better at doing things faster, more effectively, or you build your confidence to be able to pursue some of your goals in a more of an extra expedited way, you can start to, you know, release more time and enter more things into your schedule. But for now, more blank spaces in your calendar is probably the way to go so that you don't feel pressured into doing too many things at the start of the year and you have a better chance of success when you create that spaciousness to achieve your goals effectively. 
All right, the third tip I have for you to help you to stay focused and stay committed to your goals this year and be consistent in achieving your goals uh, is to choose the right goals from the get-go for the right reasons. Now, a lot of us have sort of these big lofty goals, right, that we set for ourselves. Sometimes we get it from inspiration from other people. Uh, sometimes it's just a really huge goal that we've been thinking about in the back burner that we really want to bring to fruition and come to life for this year. But I really want you to take that time to really think about what is going to drive you and motivate you to achieve those goals. So summary of this is really knowing your why and your purpose to achieve these goals. And these sorts of why and purposes should be very personal to you. So if one of your goals, for example, is to start your own business this year and start making a living independently or start to travel more with your lifestyle choices, whatever it may be for you, really take the time to dig in on how will that actually improve your state of living and your lifestyle quality of your life? And why is it so important for you to achieve this? And what are the ripple effects and transformation for the rest of your life if these goals could be achieved this year? When you take that time to have that very honest conversation with yourself, you start to really touch in and connect on some of the bigger reasons of what needs to drive and motivate you that's beyond just, you know, financial success or egoistic, you know, pride moments, right? But it really is these deep values that you hold true to yourself and achieving these goals can allow you to live out those values in real life, right? Not just thinking about that those values are important to me, but it's translated to the goal, right? Those values that you have that are true to yourself should be translating to the goals that you want to achieve this year. So if that seems a little hazy for you, don't do anything just yet and just take that necessary pause to figure out your why and your purpose that's really behind those goals, right? It's so important for us to understand deeply what drives us and motivates us so that we will make time for these goals that are important to us. You know, we will actually be able to keep that alive for us on a daily basis. And lastly, I want you to think about how can you keep that vision alive for you every single day? Now, for me, I have a sticky note wall, right, that I actually keep Right. No, no matter where I'm traveling to, whatever office spaces I move into every single year as I travel with my work, I make sure that I'm organizing like a visual color coded, you know, I'm a bit of a, 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 a nerd like that with color codes and sticky notes, but all those visual aids really help me to remember what are the things that I'm really looking forward to achieving at the end of 90 days. I like to plan my year in chunks of 90 days. So that helps me to keep focus on just some key things. Instead of doing 101 things, I'm doing three things really, really well. I can tell you from, focus, from this kind of focus, it's really helped me to achieve all sorts of things uh, that I uh, love to do every single year. So what are these visual aids that you can keep to yourself? Sometimes you could have it on your phone, right? We look at our phone quite often. So knowing what are those three priorities that we need to be really actioning on or keeping in mind and, you know, making time for is going to remind us that every day we want to set some time for it. But just like the last tip of the video I gave you about creating spaciousness, actually block off this time to work on your goals every single week at the same time repeatedly on the same day and time, if you can, can help you to build that habit of practice, right? It helps you to sit down and focus on your goals. And don't forget that we need other people to achieve our goals too. You don't have to isolate yourself in the entire world until you achieve your successes. You want to actually include other humans into your process. So whether it's uh, getting an accountability buddy or getting a friend who's also working on similar goals to talk with you on the phone every single week, to have a check-in of accountability every single week will definitely help you to achieve them. Or you could hire a coach or a mentor or someone that really understands how to get you from A to B quickly and effectively and can hold you um, into a very serious accountability, right? As you, when you pay someone to help you with that mentorship, a lot of times you will actually show up for that, right? And that's kind of interesting when we commit by investing. So you can learn more all about how to set your goals for 2020, setting the right goals for 2020, and be able to um, create your fresh vision and really the new fresh goals that you want for your life in 2020. Uh, we are going to be going um, over all this in a 90 minute webinar training I'll be, going, I'll be hosting this week. You can click on the link below this video or one of the cards popping up at the end of the video here uh, so that you can register for free and join me live on an in-depth 
very, very collaborative workshop where we reflect upon what has happened for you in 2019. We're going to take stock about what you experienced, how it made you feel, what sorts of insights and actually answers from your obstacles that can actually give you lots of answers to what needs to change within yourself in the year 2020, how you can really grow into the person that you need to be to be able to grow into the goals that you have for your life. We're going to be talking all about this and more on the webinar, uh, as well as coming up with our North Star theme so that we can also use this theme to guide your decisions, right? Value-driven decisions for your three priority goals that you're going to set for yourself for the first 90 days of this year. So all of that is going to be complimentary and free for you when you join me. And I can't wait to see you on the webinar training. Thank you again for joining me and taking the time to um, grow with me and be on this channel. I really, really uh, appreciate you. Uh, and again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be the first to know about videos and share this video if you think there's someone that really needs to hear it and invite them on the training as well. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Ready to work for yourself but have no idea where to begin? I'll show you how. Learn how to create a self-employment plan with work you can love with the Work Reinvented course. It's time to stop wondering if there's a bigger, more meaningful way to enjoy your life and work. There is.